Hey, what is up guys? So on this video, this is gonna be like a breakdown of my room. I've had a couple requests on how I have it set up and what stuff do I use to record my videos and um, just my general setup. Uh, and I've put a bunch of clips together to show how my room was actually done from start to finish. But now that it's like, it's pretty darn close to finish, I'm gonna say like 90% done. I still got some stuff that I need to hang on the walls and I still have some, um, you know, stuff that I want to move around and stuff. But for the most part, um, this is what I have going on right here behind me. This is the, uh, my, some of my pops that I've unboxed. I have the, uh, whole Rick and Morty original set from, I think wave one and two, um, like the San Diego Comic-Con, um, Tinkles and the Ghost in the Jar. And then I got, a. Um, Snowball and Squanchy. I, ha I have a Squanchy on order right now through um, FYE. That's the one with him with the noose around his neck. And then I got my uh, Ricks and my Mortys and my Evil Mortys and my Doofus Rick. And then uh, the Mr. Meeseeks. That was uh, probably the best episode they had was the Mr. Meeseeks episode. But I got all three of those. And then uh, my uh, Breaking Bad and uh, Better Call Saul. A little bit more Breaking Bad. I got my uh, Sons of Anarchy pops up top. Um, up here, I got Walking Dead, The Governor, Tyrese, Dwight. Dwight. Um, I got one of my Daryl. I pretty much got one of everybody. And then uh, all the way down to the best villain ever, Negan. I even got Shane in there and uh, some a Walker. And then up top, I have uh, my Despicable Me set. But uh, yeah, I have more of the Walking Dead pops and... Uh, they're pretty much over here. This whole little thing right here is full of pops all the way through. Of just stuff that, you know, just pretty much on the back burner as far as displaying. Um, got all those. I got pretty much a whole second row down here of, of stuff. Just random stuff. I put some of the stuff in the backdrop to kind of cover up some of the uh, plastic. Because the plastic kind of glares off of my lights. Uh, I got more pops down here and then on the bottom shelf even more pops and then I have some uh, the nature alcohol I use for some of my DIY stuff and uh, also like the uh, magic sculpt and all that um, also uh, my light setup I use three soft boxes so let me back up a little bit so you guys can see how the whole setup is I have a right down here I have a little chair that Swivels up and down. Sometimes when Ashton's working with me, he just sits in that chair or vice versa. Um, and I use it as like a stand to keep my stuff off camera to hold my boxes and whatnot. And then for my uh, my desk, my desk is like an adjustable... Let me see if I can't get you in a good angle. See, it's an adjustable drafting table. Um, and it's got some big cast iron base. This thing's super heavy. But uh, you can also see like a little groove right here. I have two slats of wood that sits in it. So when I have it at an angle, I can keep my... Uh, my pencils and stuff from rolling down the table, but I do like a lot of drawing and stuff and drafting. Um, these are some statues that I had for my last video. This is a good one. This is the camera that I use. Uh, I use a Rode mic, a shotgun mic. I use a Canon 80D. You can see, uh, wish I would turn my screen around, but there's the 80D. Um, I use a, for my lens, I use a 10 to 18 millimeter. You can kind of see it back in the, back in the back right in there. But it's a, a 10 to 18 lens so I can get really close up. And then, uh, the stand that I use is the, uh, this, uh, I forget what it's called, but it works out really good for what I use it for. Also on my desk, I have, uh, all my drawing supplies and colorings and inking. And then, uh, I have to have a, uh, a knife. A razor knife and then a roll of tape that I use for taping all my boards. And then uh, coasters that I did from my last DIY video. Uh, I use this bad boy right here to uh, black out my address. Um, I got these X-Men books that I just haven't shown yet. I got some stuff that I haven't processed. Uh, all of the, this stack of books right here. I just haven't gone through a process yet. My Copics. Uh, I don't have a huge collection of Copics. Um, they're relatively expensive. Uh, they run between like six and eight bucks a piece, depending on where you find them. If you just buy them retail, they're eight bucks each. But uh, I got the main colors for skin tones and for 
no, just uh, general general skin tones. I like drawing people a lot. Uh, the Harley that I haven't finished. I got my Jack of the Dust skull back there. Um, these racks here are usually full of boards and bags. Um, I usually have uh, moderns at the top and silvers at the bottom. Um, but I've gone through all of them except for, you know, I still have some. I'll, just, I'll show you in a minute. Um, the pop that I keep out on my desk is uh, my hangover, Alan and Carlos. That's one of my favorite pops. And then uh, also over here, I have like a whole, sorry, I got a whole big stack of uh, boxes, boxes of comics. You see, I got my, uh, this one is empty. I mean, I got like just some stuff that I just processed from my last video. And then all the rest are completely full. Every time I go through a, you know, a box, I'll just fill it up and then later on I'll organize it. So right now it's just all miscellaneous stuff. Like the, this one is up top. This is the stuff that was uh, pretty much from my last video. My Campbell books, uh, Deja Thoris stuff. Here's my Cry for Dawn. So if you guys watch my last video, that's all that stuff. And then, uh, some Rick and Morty pops that I haven't unboxed yet. That's a uh, Scary Terry, and, uh, Jerry, and then when I unbox them, I keep the boxes. I get the boxes in these two totes that eventually I'll take downstairs and put a uh, like this like organization thing in my garage that I can hang them up on. Uh, I have an easel in the corner. It's not really accessible right now because uh, I got this big stack of junk right in the way. Uh, more boxes. I got uh, my only two colored boxes or decorative boxes that I have is this uh this Vampirella box here and then underneath it I got a my Joe Benitez Harley Quinn box. Let me see if I can't pull this out of the way. Get a little peek of it. There's my uh yeah Joe Benitez box down there. That's uh Gotham City Sirens number five cover. And then a couple of Jenny Frizen Vampirellas on that box. But yeah this is uh that's all my Campbell stuff. Um, some stuff that I just haven't messed around with yet. This uh, Jack Skeleton art box. I'm a big fan of Nightmare Before Christmas. That's what this stuff is up here. You see this uh, this little wire thing. I've bent the wire into shape to make like a huge Jack Skeleton statue. And then I uh, just got another one right here. All it is is aluminum wire and some aluminum foil. That's the base to get it started. Um, inside of this box... There's a bunch of gun parts. I like to build guns also. So, uh, stuff for an AR-15. Um, but yeah, I got the uh, artwork. That's uh, that's all acrylic um, on canvas. And then uh, down below is some more acrylic on canvas. That's acrylic on canvas. This is uh, uh, the very start of oil. It's just the very, very first... Uh, very first pass. I'm probably going to take about four or five passes to get that where I want. Um, but yeah, that's my uh, that's my light setup, my desk. I got three soft boxes that I use from three different angles. And I put them in certain angles so I don't get um, glare on the books. It took me probably a couple of months to finally get all those dialed in. That's crazy here. Um, inside my closet, I got uh, up top here on this, this section, this is uh, where I usually keep my modern age bags from uh, E. Gerber and then my modern age boards. These are full backs. I'm all out of half backs. Let's pop out of the way. This thing's usually full, but um, I gotta get another order going. So that's my full backs. I need some more half backs. And then down here is my silver age stuff. Um, these are all full backs. I don't really do, on silver age, I don't really do half backs because uh, I get those a lot less common or I, I get those a lot more seldom than I do uh, moderns. So since I get so many moderns, I usually run through those a lot faster. Um, but these are all my modern my lights and then uh, these are some BCW pop storage in case I wanted to keep some in the boxes and keep them protected. Um, this is my golden age boards and bags. And for the golden age, I use uh, my lights four so they're super thick. Um, I got two Halloween masks up here that I use for DIY stuff. Uh, this is my J. Scott Campbell Divas poster. I'm really going to open that up. Uh, this is a ring light. It's like some of the ones where it gets the, the little halos around your eyes. Uh, 
So that's the ring light. This is my Paul Green original art that came in not too long ago and some more art supplies. Down here, I got some uh, encyclopedias. I got the DC encyclopedia, the Marvel encyclopedia, a knife book. Uh, I was pretty big into knife making. Um, some comic books that haven't been processed, some art books, my Campbell art books. Uh, this is my original Tyler Kirkham. You guys have seen this before. I haven't framed it up yet. Um, just some random stuff. We got here um, a Maxim, Jamie Tyndall cover, a Tomahawk magazine, uh, Batgirl, Death of the Family. That's one of those little mask cutout covers. Um, uh, Batgirl 41. Uh, this is a poster. My buddy Danny does these. He works for this company that does all these... Uh, these posters for, this was for Tampa Bay Comic Con. So they're, I think they're limited to like 100 posters. So he's able to get me those. Also, I pass it, but over here, this is, uh, these are the original metal plates for running the posters. This one was uh, Jusco, Jusco's art, but it's got like the blue and the black and the, uh, I think it was like uh, green and uh, purple. And they just keep, uh, they run the, they run like a coat of ink on it and then they stamp it to the poster and it makes like a big huge poster that looks like, pretty much like this. Actually I have the actual poster. I can't set the camera down. This is what the uh, the original looked like. I think this is from MegaCon 2015. Yeah. So that's what the original poster looks like once they get all the different colors down. All right, so that's those. And then uh, this is uh, this is something that I built um, in maybe five or six years ago. Actually, it had to be longer than that. But it's just something where where you could take a comic book with a top loader. Let me see. Put the comic in the top loader. And then the whole thing just, you could put it on your shelf and then if you want to change it out, you just put another top loader in. But uh, that's just a simple frame that I built out of a couple of different pieces of wood. If you guys are interested in something like that, leave me a comment and uh, I'll probably, maybe I'll make another one and show you guys how it's done. But uh, it's a very basic, very basic frame. Um, this here is, this here is chess pieces that I have, some custom made chess pieces from Italy. And then uh, this is where I back here in this back little cubby here is where I keep all of my boards and bags, or not boards and bags, but uh, top loaders, different sizes, modern age, silver age and golden age top loaders. And I use those when I go to uh, shows. I'll put a bunch of top loaders in my backpack, empty ones, and then I'll fill those up with like some really good books. And then uh, also I use this little case here. It's, uh, it's one of these little Velcro cases you can use. Fill that up with box, comic books also. And that's uh, a quick way to uh, put some books in a bag in my backpack without them getting all bent up and creased up because condition matters. So, um, this is some original comic book cards before I collected comic books. I collected these cards. So in there's a bunch of, uh, a bunch of my old collection of cards, uh, a bunch of gun stuff. That's me back when I was in a band. Um, some more gun stuff. Uh, up top here is where I keep all my used, uh, what are these things called? Gemini shippers so when i go to resell some of my books i can just put them uh back in here and they get to you guys in the same condition they're going to leave in and then i have a, co a contest coming up soon and i'll put the put the books that i get from those contests in here this guy here let me set this down this is uh my prints that came in from campbell See them, I got them all organized in this uh, nice portfolio. Keep them from getting all damaged up, but huge fan of Campbell. But yeah, I got that from uh, 
Hobby Lobby. It was 25 bucks originally, but I think uh, I think I used a coupon and got it for like half, or I bought it when it was half price, I think, and then maybe use a coupon. I'm sure I didn't pay that much for it. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. You guys pretty much seen everything. Whatever's inside the drawer, just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. This is uh, some backdrops. I use uh, I use these big curtains sometimes with the green screen, and I can put that away. Uh, some colored pencils and miscellaneous stuff there. And then uh, some of the cloths that go with my Halloween mask in that drawer. And then this whole thing over here is full of art supplies. That's my brushes. Uh, top one is just miscellaneous stuff. Like you see, I carved this thing out of wood. It's like some curly maple. And then filled it with some blue epoxy just to test out some stuff. Uh, the bottom line, that's full of my paint. Some of my paints and, and mediums. And then the bottom, very bottom, is full of my oil paints. Um. So, yeah, I got my presses. I got my presses down in the very bottom there. And then uh, my blue tote. I got some art, some uh, ammo boxes above that. Uh, I think, I think that's about it. I don't think there's anything in that box. Some canvases behind uh, my, back behind my uh, easel. I got some blank canvases that I haven't done yet. I have a couch that sits here in the corner. I got another, uh, right over there is another uh, box, baseball bat. It's a baseball bat holder that I use to hold my pops up in the corner. But I just haven't hung that yet. I got my uh, my red grooms painting here framed up. I got a whole wall of pops over here. These are all my X Men. You can see the all the X Men with the blue label, all right there. And then up top, I got the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Some of that stuff. And uh, yeah, back in the very corner over here, I got a a, a Fender classic basement amp. And then uh, these little things here, that's what holds up my uh, green screen in the corners here. Uh, I have a, this little gramophone. I stick my phone in it and stick my phone right in this little slot here and I can play music through my phone, kind of like a horn. And then uh, my Campbell, Campbell framed art and my lock duck framed art. But uh, yeah, that's my whole room. Thank you guys for watching and uh, have a good weekend. I'll see you guys next weekend for uh, probably my Campbell books. Have a good one. See you guys.